Here we have our roaster grinder. We've been using it every single morning and it's ready to clean. So how do we do that? Well first we're going to separate the two halves of the grinder. We can see that our bottom grind catcher section has a plastic cup that we can remove by gripping it in these two openings and pushing up with slight pressure. Now this stainless steel portion should be relatively clean, but if it's not, you can rinse it in water. And now we have our plastic cup that we can clean out with a combination of water and just a clean cloth. It should come clean very easily. Up above, we'll remove our grinder cap. And in order to remove the actual ceramic burr grinder section, we're going to loosen this thumb screw. Now it may be difficult to loosen if you can't get a good grip up here, so I like to use the handle and that provides leverage to hold this secure and just keep unscrewing our grind adjustment screw And you'll see it getting looser and looser until eventually the screw will come off and we can remove our ceramic burr grinder. Now you can see the interior. There are a few pieces that you'll want to be careful not to lose. This small metal ring as well as the spring should be set aside. And now the grinder has been disassembled. You can use a brush or just some simple water and a washcloth to clean off the ceramic pieces, as well as the interior grind uh, coffee bean holder. Once you've finished cleaning, you'll place the spring back in place, you'll place the small metal washer back in place, and you'll take the second part of the burr grinder and stick it in as such. Then you'll have to apply some pressure on both ends. You'll see if we just push on this end, this metal tube will rise. So what we want to do is place one finger on this end and we can then use our thumb to apply pressure on the grinder end. If this is too difficult, you can ask someone for some help. We will apply the thumb screw. This can be difficult initially, but once the screw is on, it's now secure. We'll apply the handle again to provide some leverage and we'll simply tighten our screw until we're back to our desired grind setting. We can replace the cap, place our plastic cup once it has been cleaned back into our grind catcher. And then we can reapply the grinder. And now you'll have a cleaned coffee grinder.